Hey everyone, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, which is something that is very near and dear to my heart. In honor of that, we've created the Sad to Happy Monkey. He starts off very sad, but through upgrades like eating healthy, meditation, finding your passion, and more, he gets happier and happier. And eventually, you get to unlock the ultimate secret to happiness. Along the way, we've replaced the Moab class balloons with negative thoughts that this monkey is going to have to face off against in order to find his happiness. I also like to say that today's video is a fundraiser for Atlas Assistance Dogs. This is a nonprofit organization that my mother and I work with that helps provide service dogs to not only children with disabilities and mental health disorders, but to all that need them. This is an absolutely amazing nonprofit and they do a phenomenal job. If you want to read more about them and learn about them, go in the description down below. You can head over to their website. You can see all of their videos that they put out. It's really cool stuff and I would highly recommend you do that. They need our help to be able to provide service dogs and help people in need. So for this video, any super chats, super comments, or donations will be going straight to this wonderful chair. You can do so by clicking on the fundraising button that's found right around right here. You can see the picture there. I also think it's, is it here? Yeah, I think it's like on this side of the PC window. It could also be on your phone, so go look for it. And please, we're trying to raise $5,000 for this wonderful and amazing charity. It would go a long way for them. Before we go further into this video, I just want to say that I'm not a doctor. I don't have a doctorate's degree. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. I don't have any of these official studying for these things. I'm just a human like you who've had my own fair share of negative emotions and own battles and struggles throughout my life. And I've also spent a good amount of time around people with mental health disorders, with the service dog charities and more. With this video, I just wanna share with you what I've learned on my life, which helps with negative thoughts, what's helped me be able to be a more positive, happy person for myself and the world around me. And I'd like to share some of that with you that I've learned over these years. A lot of the times, it's something that's really important to me and I've never had a time to really uh, sit down and share these things. And I feel like this is a great opportunity to do that because negative emotions is something that we all experience in our lives. They're all something that you know come up from time to time and that's perfectly normal. But sometimes I feel that uh, they might take control of our lives or maybe we lose control of these emotions and we don't really know what to do about it. We're going to be playing around with the sad to happy monkey talking about this guy's evolution and I hope you sit through and enjoy this video and if there's someone you think that might benefit from it go ahead and send it to them. I know it's kind of funny we're going to be talking about mental health using balloons, tower defense, and monkeys but it's one of the best ways I know how to communicate with all of you beautiful individuals. No! It's the sad monkey. Sad monkey. No. Look how sad he is. He's even got a frowny face. That's not good. That's not good at all. It's also important to know that if somebody's sad, they don't always necessarily look sad. Sometimes somebody can look perfectly okay and happy on the outside, but still feel sad on the inside. And sometimes we don't show the world how we truly feel. And that's okay too. No. He's so sad that he's not even popping the balloons. No, this isn't good at all. All right, we need to change some things up, okay? We need to we need to get to the bottom of this, okay? Because one thing about negative emotions is they often tell us something about ourselves that we might not be doing properly in our lives. Sometimes we get negative emotions as a sign that we should try to change something up in our life. So let's start by changing his diet, okay? Yeah, we gotta get in clean protein, veggies, fruits, and whole grains, and you can't forget about extra bananas. Very true. All right, so let's, we gotta start changing up. Hey, we're starting to get money back. Let's go, our investment is there. Sad Monkey's still, still trying. Okay, we need to start getting, we need to get some good sleep as well. But it's really important to always have a good diet. And if you're always eating like sugary foods or processed foods, you're gonna feel bad a lot of the times. If I eat like a lot of sugar, I'll often get headaches or I'll just have be in a bad mood. But when I start to eat better food, hey, wait, we're starting to do attack again. Let's go, wait, look. Oh, whoa, we're actually doing stuff now. 
Hey, let's go. This is amazing. All right, so we weren't doing much, but now actually we've got our good diet and we're actually starting to do some, we're starting to actually pop some balloons now, okay? It's not a lot, but it's the first step. And that's what's really important is when you feel sad, it's important to start taking steps forward to find things that work for you. And these are all just small things along the way, of course. Having a good diet is like fundamental to being able to be in a good spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this isn't good. We only got two lives left. All right, we need to... We probably need to start working on getting some good quality sleep. That's true. No! Oh, we lost. But that's okay, friends. That's okay. Because sometimes when we have negative emotions, it, it's okay to try things and it's okay to fail. There is really no failing in life. The only failure is not getting back up and trying again when you feel sad, when you feel not great. So it's important to know that you can always get back up and try. Sometimes it costs 100 monkey money, <laughs> but it's always important and it's always okay to get back up and keep trying to keep doing your best to overcome whatever it is that challenges you in life. Okay, we need to get some good quality sleep. Sleep helps your body function. A good night rest will leave you ready to face the day. That is very true. So very true. Sometimes I just need to take a nice nap. I just need to have a good solid reset, okay? A good sleep schedule. I used to stay up like until two o'clock in the morning playing games and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And then, well, then I'd wake up at like one in the afternoon and the day was already passed and I just not feel that great. But once I started changing my sleep schedule to where I was going to bed at a reasonable time and I, cause I go to bed at like 9 PM now, I'm an old man, but I wake up early and then it allows me to start my day. I can have a cup of tea. I can do some pretty cool stuff. I can have a good meal and that really helps start my day. Exercise! Oh my goodness, look, he's starting to be less sad. He's starting to take the, he's starting to take steps to make himself happy. Starting to eat better food, starting to sleep, starting to really step on that. And now let's do some exercise. Look at this, he's even, he's starting to heal. He's got a little band-aid on his heart. Exercise, a little goes a long ways. That is so true, my friends. Sometimes, you know, you wanna be able to do some good exercise, you know, make your body strong. Now, I'm not saying you need to go to the gym and work out all the time. Exercise comes in all kinds of forms. Exercise can just be going for a walk. You know, that could be doing something you love like a sport or an activity. Sometimes, you can go swimming, a anything works. Stretching is a really good exercise. I love stretching. It can be a little painful sometimes. Oh, look at this, we're actually popping the balloons now. We're doing more damage. Okay, we need to take this nap. Our nap finally came off cooldown. Oh, we're sleeping. No, the balloons are getting by. We're taking a nap, it's okay. It's important, it's important that we rest. Okay, some of the balloons are gonna get by, but that's okay. Sometimes sleep is a little bit more important to become well rested and to make sure that we're doing okay. Exercise is something that's normally difficult in the moment. Like nobody wants to do like a sit up or a push up or you know, pull up. Okay, monkey, it's time to wake up. You sleep, you're sleeping in. You're sleeping in. Oh, he woke up. Yeah. Oh, he's, look at this. He's invigorated. He's strong. He's ready to go now. <laughs> but with exercise, someone put it at a really good point where exercise costs energy and it like, you have to use energy, but you get the energy back a lot more, but it's over a long period of time. So when you have a strong body and that's used to working out, you actually have way more energy throughout the day, which is so very, very true. Okay, we're popping tons of balloons now, okay? Oh, we're getting on to the next one. We're gonna be getting on to the next upgrade, the outdoorsman, okay? Being in and experiencing nature and seeing the world beyond the internet. So true. Oh my gosh, look, we've turned into a druid. We're tu we've turned into one with nature. That is, ah. I love that. I think in today's world, we're all kind of glued to our phones. I mean, as I'm sitting here, my phone is literally right here on my computer. I'm guilty of it too. And it's really important to take time to just be outside. Even if you're doing nothing, going outside and being to go to nature, go to a park, you know, very important things. And of course, all of these things might not seem like they will just instantly make you happy. And maybe that's true. But I think taking the time to try some of these things if you're not feeling great is very important. Very, very important to having a more happy life in general. Ah, the next one, cut negativity. Ah, watch less TV, use less internet, or just remove other bad habits. All right, we're cutting negativity. Oh, look, we're no longer, he just kind of like, 
He's just kind of like there. We've started to do things. Cutting negative, negative things out of your life is really important. It kind of goes back to what I said. In the day is, and what we kind of experience in our day-to-day -day lives now, we have so many distractions and so many things in our life, right? We have our phone, we have games, we have YouTube, we have all of these things that we constantly watch all the time, and it's not healthy for us. It's definitely not a good thing to always have these distractions in our lives. And I think it's important to remove negative habits from your life, right? We definitely, I'm sure we watch too many games or play too many things. And when we distract ourselves like this all the time, mainly because if we don't feel good, it's not that great. So we wanna make sure that we can take time to do the things that we love to do. And so to not always be on the internet or not always play games and be like, okay, I need to take some time to go outside to maybe ride a bike or do something, just sit out in the sun. And there's all kinds of things that can be overall negative habits, like eating junk food could be a negative thing to do or doing things you you know you really shouldn't be doing. I think it's really, really important to be able to do that. But what's really important, like super duper important, is to learn how to replace the time that you normally do, right? Let's say like you play four hours of videos or games a day or watch four hours of YouTube. Well, if you stop doing that, you now have a, you have space and you need to find something to do with that space, which leads into one of the most important things, which is finding a passion. Boom! Okay, finding a passion, doing what you love, things that you find brings you fulfillment, creative activities. All right, oh look, he's turned into an engineer. <laughs> That's so funny, I love that. I love that. Oh, can we hit lead balloons? Oh yes, we can, let's go. It's really important to help find a passion and something you love to do. And that could be anything in the world. Everybody loves to do something and don't say that you're not good at anything because you are good at something. And the thing is with passions is you're not gonna be instantly good at what you do. I love doing YouTube, but if you go and watch my YouTube videos from when I started posting nearly 10 years ago, I was terrible. I was so bad, but I did it because it's something that interests me. So passions or things that you love could be all kinds of things. It could be music, it can be dancing, it could be writing, it could be doing YouTube videos, right? It could be mathematics, you could want to build a spaceship. There's something that interests everybody and you should find what that is and pursue that in your free time. Do something that really fulfills you creatively and it's not playing video games. I assure you or watching entertaining content, it's doing something that is challenging, that is difficult but you grow from it. Learning how to do a sport or doing something like that is so very, very important in life. In life, things that make us feel fulfilled is the challenge and effort that we put into something. So things that are easy normally aren't very fulfilling and the things that are fulfilling are never really easy. I cannot stress enough how much that affects your mental health and how you feel about yourself in general when you have something that you're passionate about, something that you wanna put in hard work and effort. I Comment down below right now, what is it that you would love to do? I'm not, money is not important. Like don't, if you, if money didn't exist, okay, let's just say that. What is it that you wanna do? Not something that your parents said you should do, not something your friends think you should do, nothing that's been put on you as a pressure. What is something that deep down, you find interesting. It could be horseback riding. It could be being the world's greatest hiker. It could be some being a submarine technician. It doesn't matter how silly it could be. Share down below what is your dream of what you want to do and why you want to do it. Be encouraging. Don't tell anyone that their dream is silly because nobody's dream is silly unless they'll like, you know, take over the world and be a tyrannical government. Okay, you should probably reconsider if that's the case. <laughs> Another important thing in life is being able to have friends, being able to have socialization, people around you that care for you and respect you. And sometimes that might seem difficult because there are some of us, and there, I've been in times in my life where it doesn't feel like I have any friends. And how do you make friends and how do you go about this? Well, what's really cool is once you find a passion and you find something that you genuinely love to do 
and something that's really important to you, you'll often find like-minded people. So for example, if you really like horseback riding and you wanna, and you go and do horseback riding all the time, you'll probably find other people that are like that in that group and you'll be able to make friends that way. You'll never find friends kind of just sitting on your phone playing games or going through the internet, you'll find people that are like you by doing things you love to do. It's really interesting how this works and it's so true. I've met all of my best friends from the passions and things that I really enjoy doing, which is just so very cool. All right, so now look at this. It is, no, it's the Moab. It's the negative thought. It just says, just give up. That's not good. Look at this, just give up. No, we popped it. Yeah, let's go. Sometimes, my friends, we'll have negative thoughts. We'll have things that come into our lives that pop up that may say things to us or we might think that, are, that aren't always true. Sometimes we'll be, you know, just give up or, you know, you're not good enough. These thoughts can come to us and it's important to know that those are not us. When we have negative thoughts, it's important to know that you are not your thoughts and your thoughts do not define who you are or your self-worth. It's so very important to understand that, my friends. I used to get caught up a lot in my own negative thoughts and just know that thoughts are kind of like cars that just pass away on a road. They come and they go and it's important to not get attached onto the negative thoughts that show up in our lives because they can drag us down and we can become attached to these thoughts. And so it's important to know that you have the right to say, no, I don't want to believe in this thought. No, this is not me. It's difficult. It really is difficult, but it's important to know that, that you have the power in your life to tell your thoughts, no, I am good enough to do things. All right, let's go on to the next one. Helping others. Oh man, get in. That is so true. We're all here together and it's important to be able to help others, right? And when you help other people, and not you don't help other people for the expectation of getting something. You help people because you know deep down they're just like you, another person on this world, and you would want someone to help you too. And so learning to be able to help people and be kind to other people there's something that funny that happens in life when you start helping others without wanting things in return and something just kind of happens where you feel good. Have you ever had an experience in your life where you just did something out of the goodness of your heart and you know nobody was around but you still felt good about it maybe you were walking down the side of the road and you saw some trash on the floor and you know you're like well it should be in the trash can you just picked it up and threw it in the trash can you didn't you know and you did it just because it was the thing to do and maybe you're like wow you know you kind of felt good about that right and that's really important is that really applies to a lot of things in life of when you do things for just to be good and to do the right thing of what you feel in your heart a lot of cool things will be able to come from that. But of course, sometimes when you're not feeling all that great, it's hard to be able to help others. So normally you start helping others when you've been working on yourself for a while and you've been able to get you know, on your own two feet. And that normally starts kind of at the beginning. The way we've kind of set up this sad monkey is it's kind of an evolution of how things happen. And it's kind of what happens to me whenever I lose my balance in life and I feel that I've started to, to feel more negative thoughts than positive ones, is I kind of, re I do a reset on my life. Like this is what happens okay to be honest with all of you maybe sometimes like I'll, I'll feel down in the dumps and I'll feel like I'm not doing very well or something's wrong I'll basically kind of go through this process right I'm like okay what do I need to do I need to, and then I'll, I'll have a day where I just eat only good food I'll make sure I get plenty of rest I'll exercise I'll go outdoors and I'll start going through kind of these things and I'll start kind of working on this and going up through this which is really important really important to do no it's the negative Moab all right Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And now forgiveness. Oh, learning forgiveness and letting go of anger. Ah, forgiveness is something that is so very important in life, my friends. Okay, forgiveness is a very tricky thing because there's a quote that I really love and a lot of you might not understand this. Some of you do, some of you might, some of you might not understand this for many years, but it's something that you should remember. If you take anything away from this video, it's this quote, and it's forgiveness 
is letting go of a prisoner and realizing that that prisoner was you. In life, I'm sure we all have someone that we hold a grudge against. As we're talking, the BFB of you don't fit in comes in. No, okay, we, all right, we actually beat up the, the you don't fit in. And you know what? So we had a negative thought that says you don't fit in. And look at this, we're cruising. It's really important to learn really how to forgive people because when we're angry at someone or we feel upset that someone has done something wrong to us and it's very possible that someone has done something very wrong to us someone could have done something very bad to us but ultimately it's our decision of how we react to that situation if we hold anger or resentment or a negative emotion towards someone we give that person power over our own emotional state and so let's say I'm doing something, right? Like I'm walking down the road and someone says something really mean to me, okay? They say, hey, fat forehead. And I go, oh, that was so mean. How, why would they do something so mean to me? That person's so mean, that's so rude. Well, when I do that, I'm giving power to that person to dictate and control my emotional state. And I think it's really important to life to be able to forgive people for the things that they do and realize when people say negative things, it's never really about you. If that person, they were probably having a really bad day. They were probably in a really bad spot. I'm not saying that it justifies people's behaviors or actions. That's not the case at all because, well, that's not a nice thing to do, but they still did it. and we can choose to either be upset or angry about that or we could say i forgive you for doing that and and let it go and just not feel and just drop those negative emotions now this might sound really weird and i remember when i was first told this i thought it was the silliest thing this absolute silliest thing i go why would i ever like that doesn't seem right but as I get older, I realize it's so much more important to just let go of negative emotions. And I think that's kind of what forgiveness is, is to just let go of anger that you have towards someone and say, it's okay to not be angry at that person. It's okay, I'd rather have my own peace of mind. And this might be something that might resonate with you and it might not, it might not for a very long time, but I think it's something that's really important. Next up, ooh! We're, look at this. Oh, wait, look how happy we are now. Look, now we've got forgiveness. We're starting to be so happy. Oh, no. And the you don't fit in. That's okay. We, we do fit in, okay? We're not going to let these negative emotions get by us, okay? We're not going to let these negative thoughts win. We're going to do what we can to battle them, to do what we can. Meditation. Oh my goodness, okay, meditation. Meditation can be just as powerful as sleep and you can do it anywhere. And I think there's a lot of misconceptions about really what meditation is. And it's something that kind of like forgiveness that it's something that grows with you over time. A lot of people think meditation is sitting still and having not a single thought enter your mind and whoa. And I thought that's what it was for many years of my life. And it's begin to change as I begin to meditate every day. Meditation is learning how to listen. Meditation is learning how to listen to your body, your emotions, and your mind. It's about learning how to be able to be comfortable with just sitting still and not doing anything. You know, there's been probably a time in your life when you have meditated and you didn't even know you were doing that. I think it's important to begin the journey of making meditation a hobby by just taking time to just do nothing. And that might sound silly. That might sound silly, but give your time, you give your your brain and your emotion and your body time to decompress. And what I mean by that is it's normally best maybe in the morning or by the time you go to bed or at some point if you can find time, just sit down in a chair comfortably and just live. Just allow things to happen. Just listen, follow your breath, allow your mind to do what it does and follow that. Just don't get attached to anything. And, and it's kind of difficult to try to explain meditation in a balloons tower defense. Uh oh, uh oh, we're having troubles. Uh oh, the, the negative thoughts. Okay, wait, can I meditate? Uh oh, wait, no, I meditated. Uh oh, okay, maybe you shouldn't meditate when you're in the middle of a battle. Okay, uh, maybe we shouldn't do that. Oh, we're still meditating. We're still meditating. All right, well, let's get a little backup here. Let's get a, let's get a tad bit of backup to help while while our friend is meditating here. Okay, we're back. 
We've meditated and now we're power more powerful than ever. <laughs> Meditation is something that's really near and dear. And if it's something that you're interested in, you can start at any age, it doesn't matter. But it's something that has helped me the most with my own happiness and journey in this. And you can learn from so many really cool things. There's apps called Headspace, which is really, really good. There's YouTube videos and courses. I'd highly recommend you look into it. But more so, I think it's important to just give yourself time to decompress from a day. So instead of, you know, watching a 20 minute video, just take five, 10 minutes to just sit down and just do nothing. Just do, you don't have to do anything. That's the thing. That's what's so beautiful. You don't have to do it. You don't have to be, I'm meditating. You're just here. You're just chilling. Just like you're watching this video right now, except you're not watching anything. You're watching your own, your own internal world per se. Let's move on to the next one, my friends. And therapy dog. Man's best friend, now Bunky's best friend. With all of the things so far in this video, they're absolutely amazing and I highly recommend you try all of them out. And when it comes to negative emotions, it's something that we all experience. There's nothing wrong with you if you feel sad or depressed, you know, th that's not the case at all. But sometimes in life, we have nothing but negative emotions and we really lose control of our emotional state or more so. And there can be times where we need help from other people and we need to have assistance. And that's where assistance dogs comes into and service dogs and therapy dogs and psychiatrists and therapy. Sometimes our negative emotions completely control our life. And there's nothing wrong with reaching out and asking for help and asking for guidance when these things happen. So if you feel negative emotions from time to time, that's perfectly okay. I feel negative emotions too. We all do. It's kind of what makes us human. But sometimes if you experience negative emotions for the majority of your life and that's all you experience and you feel that you don't ever really experience joy or happiness or peace, then maybe you should go and talk to someone and tell them how you feel and maybe something like therapy or service dogs are right for you. And that's where service dogs come into play. And that's exactly what Atlas Assistance Dogs does, the charity and fundraiser for today's video. Which by the way, if you want to help support people and you want to help service dogs, please donate please consider adding to the fundraiser it would mean the world to myself and you'll be doing a truly a good cause even one dollar can go a long way if every single person who watched this video gave one dollar we would be able to raise more than double what this charity makes in a year and it can go such a long ways my friend so let's get our friend here a service dog okay let's help them out let's get them a service dog because maybe they just need a little bit more help and let's do this and now oh he has a cute service dog uh courtesy of atlas assistance dogs let's go oh my gosh and then the dog shoots out bullets too so you know you know that's legit please help him out now Let's go. You know, we're having a little bit of troubles, but now look how happy he is. Look how absolutely happy this monkey is. He's ecstatic now. You know, we went through quite a journey together, my friends. We started off sad and we really didn't know what to do, but we went through so many things together, right? We worked on adding meaning to our life, right? And that's what was so cool. And now friends, I think it's time for us to get the ultimate secrets to all happiness. We finally got here. We now get to know the meaning of happiness and we finally have it. So let's go ahead and get the secrets to all happiness. Ooh, oh! But nothing changes. Why does nothing change, friends? Because there is no secret to happiness. There is no end goal to happiness. There is no there is no secret formula. There is no amount of money or power or wealth or any of these things that will make you happy. What made our monkey happy? He's no longer sad monkey. He's no longer. He's happy monkey. He's changed. But why? It's because of the journey that we went on, my friends. It wasn't this end goal. That's not what made the person happy. It was the journey that they went on. The journey of doing what they can to help change their life. You know, by adding good diet, 
by going on walks, by getting good rest, by being up, taking care of their body, going out in nature, cutting out the negative things in their life that cause them harm, such as too much YouTube. That's right, you can watch too much Tootie. Isn't that crazy? You should, you watch too, that, don't do that, right? I love when you guys come and hang out with me, but you guys should enjoy life outside. You guys shouldn't always watch my content. You guys should definitely be able to go out and do stuff. Doesn't make a lot of money for me, but I'd rather see you guys happy. If every single person stopped watching my content today and decided and instead decided to go out and change the world I would be very happy with that finding a passion or you know finding something that gives you fulfillment getting friends helping these people you know learning to forgive meditation and in some cases getting a service dog all of these things all add up to happiness not one of these things is going to make you happy but it's the journey that you went on it's the journey of growth that you decided to say, I'm going to put my life into my own hands and I'm going to do what I can to make myself happy. And it's this journey. It's not this thing at the very end. It's not the goal. It's the journey of what you went on. And that is what's really important about life to know is that life is not a goal, my friends. There's no destination to reach. Value and success are attributes and definitions that you apply yourself. And it's the journey that we went on. Life is a song that we're supposed to dance along to, friends. And it's so important to know this. It's so important to know that life is a beautiful thing that you have the power to do and you can decide on your own time what gives you value. And I, it makes me really sad sometimes to see all of these things on social media, all of these really popular YouTubers who try to force this idea of you need to be famous, you need to have cars, you need to have money to be happy. You want to look at me. It's all a lie, my friends. I bought that. I the one of the reasons I became a YouTuber was I wanted thought I wanted to be happy. I thought I wanted to be famous and thought if I had money, I'd be happy. It's not the case. It is not the case. I felt worse. I only became happy when I started to do the things that I love to do and when I started to live a more challenging life. And here we are, friends. Finally, the last negative thought. You'll never win. But that's not the case. We did win, friends. We did. The monkey in the beginning would never have been able to beat that. The monkey in the beginning didn't stand a chance, but over time, after hard work and dedication, we were able to overcome this challenge. And it feels good because we put in work and effort for it. If you watched this whole video, thank you all so very much. I know it's a little bit different, but it's something that's so important to me and something that is, this charity means the world to me. Uh, you all mean the world to me. Your health and well-being is really important to me. And I hope you all are able to find and lead wonderful, happy lives. I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You're all such beautiful people and you support me every single day. So I just wanted to say I love you all so much and I hope you all find a passion that you love. And if you already have one, work at it every single day. What you need to be happy is to work on yourself to find something you love and to find friends who love you for you. You don't need to be anybody. You don't need to pretend to be somebody you're not. You need to be you to the best of your ability. So thank you all so much for watching. And again, if you can, it would mean the world to me if you could help with this charity to help support people who can't control their negative emotions, people who really need help. A lot of us can change our lives on our own, but some people need a little bit of extra assistance. And that's what Atlas does a phenomenal job at. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more fun balloons content. Bye, everybody.